guys, welcome, and we're going to be looking at the 1991 anime sci-fi action comedy, Rojin Z. And this is directed by Hiroyuki Kitakubo, and it was penned, it was written by the maestro himself, Katsuhiro Otomo, better known as the creator of Akira. And this is a very cool movie, and it was surprising when I looked at it on other forums, just, you know, other websites, and it hasn't got a lot of recognition. It's definitely one to check out. It's very cool, and at just under an hour and a half, you can definitely slip that into your time slot. It sort of looks at the amusing and horrifying means of healthcare for the elderly, in that, you know, the youth of today would rather look after themselves and the progression of their own careers than care for their elderly parents. So in that sense, the government has had to develop a means of looking after the elderly, and that's a sci-fi means, and whether that has worked or not, we'll have to find out. So without further ado, Let's check it out. Rojin Z is set in contemporary Japan, and a group of scientists and hospital administrators have developed a self-sufficient computerized hospital bed with robotic capabilities to take care of the elderly, thus eradicating the need for doctors and nurses to waste their time caring for the decrepit and dying and focus on more important and urgent medical dispositions. The bed can do everything. It can bathe, remove waste, exercise the patient, provide food, administer appropriate medication, and monitor their vital signs. The patient can even play Mahjong. Go, chess, Othello, or Balloon Bomber. I mean, who doesn't want to play Balloon Bomber? This revolutionary system is known as Project Z. To launch their first prototype, they've acquired Mr. Takazawa an elderly widower who's on his way out as their test guinea pig. However, Haruku, Mr. Takazawa's former student nurse who cared for him and formed a caring grandfather-like relationship with him, is worried for his welfare. And as the movie progresses, Mr. Takazawa isn't happy about his state of affairs either, and wants out too. Oh, pickle poop. Is it very bad? They're very much mouse. Yes, it's hurting. It's the indignity. That's what hurts. Poor Bugalug. How could they do this to you? Haruku works overtime to try and rescue him, but as we soon find out, it's not such an easy task. For one, the government won't allow it, with dark secrets starting to emerge. And secondly, this bed Mr. Takazawa is in is more than a bed. It's also a government-designed experimental robotic weapon, and it's beginning to show signs of malfunction, which can't be good. Does that not look cool? I mean, if it does have a lot of recognition, awesome. But if it doesn't, it should. It's a cool little sci-fi anime, particularly if you like 80s and 90s anime, because it's got an old school anime look to it, almost sort of verging on looking like anime made for TV, like Samurai Pizza Cats or Sailor Moon. But trust me, when it gets to the action sequences, the detail in the animation at those points is really good, particularly when the robotic bed engages in battles later on in the movie. And uh, be warned if you don't like toilet humor and sexual humor, it's in this film. But if you're a fan of Katsuhiro Otomo's work, this is definitely one to check out. He might not have directed it, but it has his mark all over it. So guys, it gets a thumbs up for me. And let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below. And as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Paddy McManus, and press that subscribe button below to support me. Wow!